Story time of how I found out my boyfriend was cheating on me with my cousin. My boyfriend and I had been together for two and a half years. His family loved me and my family loved him and they expected us to get married. Well, last year when COVID started, we were actually in different countries, so we didn't see each other for three months. During those three months, we FaceTimed four times a day and we were always texting. He happened to be quarantining in our hometown, so both of our families were in the same place. I was quarantined in a different country. One day, my cousin calls me and tells me that she met a really nice guy on a dating website. I was so happy for her because she had had bad luck with guys. Every single week, her and I would catch up on the phone and she would tell me how much she liked this guy and how amazing their dates were and how amazing he was in bed, how sweet and considerate he was. I couldn't be happier for her. Well, when I finally get back home, my boyfriend is super distant and cold. So naturally, I called my cousin and complained. She told me to give him space. She said I should just leave him alone. And so like an idiot, I did leave him alone. One day, my cousin calls me and tells me to come over for dinner. When I got there, my boyfriend's car was parked in her garage. I thought it was just her nice way of trying to get us to talk. I walk in and catch them doing the dirty on the couch. Come back for part two. So I walk in on my cousin and my boyfriend doing the dirty on her couch. They quickly get up from the couch and get dressed. Of course, by that time, I'm in hysterics. I'm crying and yelling. My boyfriend instantly got on his knees and begged me for forgiveness. I went up to my cousin and I punched her right in the face. She wasn't expecting that. And I said, well, this is the guy that you've been dating, isn't it? She said yes, and that she was just trying to find the best way to tell me. And so she just thought the best way to tell me was to get me to walk in on her and him doing the dirty. I punched her again. My boyfriend came to her rescue, though instantly went into hero mode which made me even angrier so i punched him too i stormed out of her house and went back to my house well i told my parents everything and my dad went over to my uncle's house my cousin's dad and he told him everything she was about to turn 19 so he took away her phone and her car and i get a phone call from my ex come back for part three Three. So my lying, cheating ex calls me and explains to me why he actually slept with my cousin. He said that he was so lonely and that he didn't know what to do, and that the closest thing to me he could find was my cousin. Right, as if that was any comfort to me. He said I should be grateful that I didn't cheat with someone else. I told him he had totally betrayed my trust and that I could never ever trust him again. And then he confessed that she was pregnant, and that his parents wanted them to get married. He said he just wanted to give me a heads up. Then he said that we could still be together, but just not tell anyone, so basically he wanted me to be his side piece. I couldn't believe the words that were coming out of his mouth. It was like I did didn't know this man. Guess what I did? I recorded the entire conversation. So I went straight to my cousin and I let her listen to it. She was so shocked. She couldn't believe that he would offer to have me as a side chick. Well, I also let my uncle listen to it. He went to my ex's house and beat him up. Honestly, that made me sad, but he deserved it. They now have a baby and he's gained 50 pounds. It's your instincts, girl. And always record your conversations. Also, how cute are my nails? <laughs> Story time about how my boyfriend forces me to wear makeup. My boyfriend and I have only been dating for four months. I'm 22 and he's six years older than me. Our relationship has been pretty good. After two weeks of dating, he started slowly encouraging me to wear more and more makeup. I didn't think anything was wrong with this until he took me to Sephora and told me to choose makeup. I'm not a huge fan of makeup and I actually don't even know how to apply it. So when he took me to Sephora, I was just like, what? He said, pick whatever you want. I chose a few items, but he said, pick more. Then he said he wanted me to put on all the makeup so we could go to dinner. And that night was like the best SEX we had ever had. It's like the makeup turned him on after that he told me that anytime we would see each other i had to wear a full face of makeup i don't even know how to put on foundation i quickly looked up tutorials to learn how to do it i used makeup for about a week and after that i started breaking out told him i didn't want to wear makeup every time i saw him and if it was okay and he said no point blank no he explained to me that i must wear makeup every single time i see him i don't know how to feel about this but i don't think it's right and now he doesn't even touch me if i wear makeup he even told me that i didn't look as cute as when i wear makeup then he actually took out a makeup bag from his car and gave it to me is this normal or should i break up with him caught my neighbor trying to open my apartment door should i be worried disclaimer is not my story time instead of me on instagram i just moved into my new apartment two months ago everything's been completely normal and fine up until a few weeks ago i went to my mailroom to pick up some packages and there happened to be one of my neighbors there he says his name is jerry and he actually introduced himself to me i had never seen him before but he just said hey how are you i said hi and then he said, are you new to the building? And I confirmed that I was new to the building. That's when he said that I looked familiar to him and he asked me where I went to school. I told him where I went to school and then he started asking me more questions. But the more questions he asked me, the more I realized he was just trying to find me on Facebook. I didn't give him my last name or anything. But ultimately, this guy knows where I live, so I was just like, whatever. That's when he started recommending restaurants and cafes around our neighborhood. He just kept talking and talking and talking. I ended up standing there for 10 minutes, listening to him talk until I told him I had to leave. That's when he said it was so nice to meet me and that he'd see me around. Keep in mind, he does not know what floor I live on at this point. Then a few days later, I see him again at the mailroom. I said hello, but I made sure to act like I was in a hurry. But of course, he had to stop me and we talked again for like 5 minutes. Follow for part 2.
Caught my neighbor trying to open my apartment door. Should I be worried? Disclaimers and all my story time on sending me on Instagram. I knew he was going to talk my ear off, so I told him I was in a hurry and I had to go. And he says, no worries, maybe we should catch up sometime. And I said, cool, bye. I did not say yes. A few hours later, I get on my Instagram and I see that he started following me. I wasn't super creeped out at this point. I was just like, okay, maybe he's just trying to be friendly. I instantly went and blocked him from seeing my stories. I didn't want him to keep tabs on me that way. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, I work from home. And I do have two dogs. My dogs are always pretty quiet. I've never had a complaint about them. They really don't bark. Since I work from home, I walk them about three times a day. And remember, at this point, he doesn't know what floor I live on. At least I didn't think so. A few days later, I decided to go have dinner with one of my best friends. I left my apartment for literally 40 minutes because I try not to leave my dogs alone for too long. When I get off the elevator at my floor, I see the guy trying to open my door. He was pushing the door with his shoulder. I yelled at him from across the hallway and said, what are you doing? Then he looked shocked. Then he said, oh, sorry. I heard noise in your apartment and I wanted to make sure your dogs are okay. How does he know I have dogs? Part three is up. Caught my neighbor trying to open my apartment door. Should I be worried? Disclaimers and all my story time is that I'm on Instagram. When I caught him red-handed trying to open my door, I asked him what he was doing. He said that he walked by and heard my dogs making really loud noises and that he just wanted to make sure that they were okay. My dogs were making zero noises, and how did he know I had two dogs? And how did he know what floor I lived on? I was officially creeped out. He saw the look on my face and said, oh, I'm so sorry if I made you uncomfortable. I was just trying to check on your dogs. That's when I told him that he didn't need to do that and that it was okay and he could leave now. That's when he started freaking out. He said, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. I can tell I made you uncomfortable and I feel like I've ruined everything. That's when I told him that he hadn't ruined anything because nothing was going on. Then he said, maybe you should give me your phone number so that if something like this happens again, I can just call you. I said no immediately. I told him he could leave again and he walked away. He's halfway down the hallway and says, oh, we should still catch up for some coffee or something. What? I am concerned, but I don't know if I'm just freaking out for no reason. Could he have really been trying to help? Or am I right to think that he was trying to break in? I emailed my landlord and they said that they've never had a problem with him before. What the heck should I do? Story time about how my boyfriend shames me for having cellulite. Disclaimer is not my story time with sending me on Instagram. I'm 24 years old and my boyfriend is 21. According to him, he has never been with any girl who's had cellulite before, or even an ounce of body fat. Yes, I know what you're thinking, he's a total asshole, which in that sense, he is. But the rest of the time, he's completely fine and actually sweet. We met last year at a friend's party. At the party, I instantly fell in love with him. I thought he was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. And it was reciprocated. I saw him from across the room and he made eye contact. A few minutes later, he walked over to me and just struck up a conversation. I know that people present themselves the way they want to be seen, especially when they're trying to impress someone they're attracted to. He started telling me about how he's studying to be a doctor, how he volunteers at animal shelters, and that every single weekend he also volunteers at the soup kitchen. Everything he said was absolutely perfect. By the end of the night, he had asked me out on a date and I said yes. I did explain to him that I didn't want anything serious and he said that was totally fine. I was trying to focus on my studies, so having a boyfriend was not in my plans. But after we went on seven dates, he asked me to be his girlfriend. He wouldn't take no for an answer. After about a month, I finally said yes. Mind you, at this point, he hadn't seen me naked, not even in a bathing suit. The very night that I said yes to being his girlfriend, he asked me to come over to his place. He made a whole gourmet dinner, even bought super expensive wine. So we ended up doing it for the first time that night. The next morning when I woke up, the first thing he said to me was, do you ever exercise? I was shocked. Part two is up. I tell him about how my boyfriend shames me for having cellulite. Disclaimers and on my story time I sent him on Instagram. That's when he said point blank super serious, do you ever exercise? I just stared at him. I had literally just woken up in his bed after the first time we ever did it. Then I thought he must be joking. So I started to laugh a little. And then he says, no, seriously, do you ever exercise? I said, sometimes. Then he told me, you should really try to work out at least five times a week. I went home and finally texted him saying that I wasn't comfortable with the way he spoke to me. That's when he said that what he said to me was completely normal and that I shouldn't be offended. This was all in text, by the way. That's when he sends me another text message saying, you know, you wouldn't have as much cellulite as you do if you didn't eat so much fast food. And if you exercise five times a week, like I told you, I didn't reply to him for the rest of the day. Later that day, he shows up to my apartment and says, you know, I should feel comfortable enough to tell you what I think about you. He somehow ended up making me feel bad and I ended up apologizing. Obviously after that, I became really self-conscious about my cellulite and my entire body. So anytime we were together, I would always stay under the covers. By the way, my boyfriend doesn't have a great body. He's super soft and pudgy. Last week, he told me that he had abs though. Part three is a is it normal that my father still hits me even as an adult? Disclaimer, this is not my story time, but send me on Instagram. When I was a kid and I got in trouble, my dad would hit me. I always knew to expect it, so it wasn't a really big deal. But of course, I would do my best to stay out of trouble. Sometimes he would use a belt, and sometimes he would slap me across the face. The slapping was the worst part. From the ages of 10 to 12, I didn't really get hit because I never got in trouble. When I turned 14, things started getting rough. I wanted to date boys, and my dad was not having it. So his form of punishment sometimes was even taking food away from me. This happened on two occasions when I was 14. 
quarantine and I almost ran away because of it. I know most of you are thinking that my mom should have stepped in, but my mom was pretty afraid of my dad too. Sometimes I feel like my parents have brainwashed me into thinking that what my dad is doing is fine. The sad part is that I'm now 20 and my dad still hits me from time to time. I do have to say my father has always been there for me. He's provided me with a great life and a good education. And it's not like he would just hit me out of nowhere. It was only when I got in trouble and for specific reasons. But I do think he needs to stop it because I'm 20 now. Here's where things get really messy. I just got engaged and my fiance hates my father. Follow for part two. Is it normal that my father still hits me as an adult? Now that I'm 20 and engaged, I told my fiance about what my father did. Like I said, my father wouldn't just hit me out of nowhere. He would only do it when he was punishing me and for specific reasons. But my fiance loathes my father. He thinks it's abuse and that it wasn't a normal thing for me to have to endure as a child, especially as an adult. And I've only come to realize that what my dad is doing is probably wrong because of my fiance. Before that, I never had anybody in my life tell me that what my dad was doing was wrong. But here's what happened. My fiance and I were cooking in my parents' kitchen. My dad must have been in a really bad mood because he comes into the kitchen and says, if you don't clean up this mess, I'm gonna show your fiance how I slapped the shit out of you. My father had never shown that side of him in front of my fiance. But as soon as those words came out of my father's mouth, my fiance turned to him and said you will never put your hands on her again and my dad said that's my daughter and i can do whatever i want my fiance asked me to leave with him and i did my mom called us and begged us to come back but my fiance said no part three is 